I think the most challenging was probably stepping out from behind the drums uh, the first night. Because our first night that we played was a 75-minute closing set. Um, and we had about five breaks to talk in. And I think we were all kind of cool with the music part because, you know, a lot of people are like, you know, it, it, it's going to be totally different. It's like the majority of us, besides Hollywood, have been playing this music for about seven to eight years on some of the songs so we know them um but i think it was like going out there and like looking at the crowd and going man wow like soul glow isn't here and we've been with we played we played with him for like eight or nine years uh so uh in a band yeah i actually love it because i have said this uh and it's in our bio too that i think i'm a better dancer than i was a drummer um, or am a drummer, uh, not was, because I still I still play. I'm having a blast. It's uh, super fun, and I think our energy and our camaraderie and just everything is like way cooler. I could see I could see people going absolutely nuts on Raised by Wolves. Um, Berserk is going kind of crazy. You know that one's. You know we're we're doing that one right now we haven't played uh, raised by wolves yet so it's like i sang before but i think i'm singing a little bit more now and nate's singing a little bit more now and Derek is so it's been fun for us it's like it's an older band but a brand new band if that makes sense we like to think that we have matured a little bit as you can tell by our, our facial hair maybe our uh, our, uh <laughs> yeah he's not matured <laughs> We have. We've been doing this for a long time. We've been traveling around the world. We've seen a lot of things, met a lot of people, um, and gone through a lot of changes. And, you know, whether it's a a member change or a lineup change or bringing in a new guy um, or feeling like your career's completely changing in a spot where you're like, what does the future look like? You know, we've all struggled with with doubt or with just confusion and interpreting God's will. And um, a lot of us have had huge changes. Josh moved across the country from... Atlanta to LA, and I moved across the country from LA to Atlanta, and Nate's going to be moving to Nashville, and you know we're all and Teddy too. I mean, we've all just been moving and um, experiencing uh, a lot of different things in life, and and I think most notable is Josh um, getting married recently, and then his uh, shortly thereafter his his mother-in-law passing away, and then assuming the the guardianship of of her four uh, teenage girls that she was the mother of, so. Just absolutely life-changing experience for him and, and for the band, too, to rally around it and kind of play some shows without him. And, and um, there's just a lot that's changed, and I think we wanted to say something a little deeper and still have those moments, those tongue-in-cheek, you know, jetpack kick lines about shoes that fly and um, whatnot. But we still wanted to uh, maybe take it a little deeper on a couple of our songs, like When Everything's Changing. Uh, I think he's uh, producing and uh, writing, and he's liking being at home. I know he's been writing a lot. Um, I'm sure he'll probably come out with something. We see him this week, so uh, I'll have to ask him and get back to you. Whoop, whoop.